What should we expect to see from Syracuse basketball in 2024-25? You are Locked On Syracuse, your daily podcast on the Syracuse Orange, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome everyone into Locked On Syracuse. I'm Jackson Olzer. I hope everyone enjoyed the first full round of March Madness. Nothing too crazy happening. You know, that includes Kentucky losing early because Kentucky always disappoints in March with John Calipari. But, you know, other than that, I hope everyone enjoyed March Madness and hopefully Syracuse is in this tournament next year. And spoiler alert, They better be. I'm Jackson Holzer here on Locked on Syracuse. And today is about what we should expect. What our expectations should be for Syracuse basketball next season. But before we can get to that, today's episode is brought to you by Nissan. Are you the kind of driver that likes to push things a little further? Ever wonder what adventure could be around the next corner? Take the Nissan Rogue, Nissan Pathfinder, or Nissan Armada, and go find your next big adventure. Check them all out today at NissanUSA.com. So I alluded to it that this should be our expectations for Syracuse before we even know what the final roster is going to be, right? It's still at the time of this recording, March 22nd, very early. But at the end of the day, we should still have general expectations for this club next season. And I'm going to be a little bit harsh in what I say because I believe this program can get back to the glory days. It's not so long ago. It's only about a decade ago. So with that, the first wish that I have or request or expectation is kind of basic. Syracuse has to be in the tournament next season. Period. End of story. I do not care what the excuse is. Every single year over the past three years, this team has had some sort of reason that they didn't make it, right? You can chalk up 2022 to just being a down year because I believe that team underachieved they were better than what they showed at least certainly not an under 500 team they were maybe not a tournament but under 500 was just awful the following season well it was a lot of freshmen right judah mintz freshman chris bell malik brown all those guys from that class freshmen quadier copeland at the time Obviously, he's he's gone. So fine, that was kind of the excuse. Also, it was the final year of Jim Beheim, Legendary coach, but maybe had kind of run through his course. So they needed new blood. And this season was the first year under head coach Adrian Autry. And I thought he did a good job and that you should be encouraged by his performance in the regular season as a coach. And the team in general, winning 20 games for the first time in 10 years in the A or not in the ACC, but in the regular season. That's impressive. And we shouldn't ignore that. But each year has had some sort of reason to not be in it. Next year, I don't care. There is no excuse. None. I don't care if you don't have five players on your roster. This team better be in March Madness next season because I was so sad when March Madness tipped off between Michigan and Mississippi State. That was the first game, and it kind of hit me. We're not in it. Again, three straight years. This team hasn't gone four straight years since making the tournament since... The 1960s, 1970s. 
It applies to three years as well. But the reason why I use four years is because think about it from a student that goes to Syracuse University because at the end of the day, Syracuse University is a college where students attend. A student has gone, or a student that goes to college for four years. And every student up until now, at this point, has gotten to experience a tournament run while they were at school. And believe me, for many of you listening that have attended Syracuse, for me as well, being on campus when this team is in the tournament is an amazing feeling, especially when they're making a run. And if they don't make it next year, if they don't make it next year, then the class of 2021, the one that would be entering, would not have experienced a tournament their entire college lives on campus, which hasn't happened since 1972. 1972. That's the way I like to look at it. Because I find that preposterous. I think that's insane. The bonus to this, because I have it written down, is I would hope that they're really, really, really good and that they're a six seed or better. But honestly, I'll just take the tournament. I don't care how they get there. They just got to get there. So I think that's the big one. But there's still plenty of more wishes. The next one that I have written down might be a little bit obscure. You might not have thought of this one. Be ranked in the AP Top 25 at any point in the season. You might be asking yourself, when was the last time Syracuse was ranked in the Top 25? Good question. It was in December of 2018. So it's been six years since this team was top 25 at any point in the country. Any point. You can look it up. Go look it up on Sport Reference. I honestly almost find that more weird than just not making the tournament. How does this team go six years without being ranked at any point? How is that possible? Listen, at the end of the day, the overarching goal is to make March Madness next season. But I also want this team to be really good in the lead up to it. I don't want them to be on the bubble, but I'll take it. Which is why I say be ranked in the top 25 any point in the year, any point, I'll be happy. And I think you should expect those two things because this is Syracuse basketball. It's one of the best basketball programs in the country. And being Syracuse has certain expectations that have simply not been met over these last three years. So those are just two general, maybe it's wishful thinking, expectations for Syracuse next season. And there's still plenty more to come. This episode is brought to you by the Spring Cleaning Champions, Manscaped. This season, make sure to groom your carpets and the drapes with the leaders in below-the-waist grooming. Clear out that winter bush with Manscaped Lawns Mower 5.0 and watch your confidence bloom like the springtime flowers. Embrace the season and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our special offer. Go to manscaped.com and use code Locked On for 20% off plus free shipping. Introducing the season's champ, the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra. Their fifth generation trimmer features two interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little off the top, and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. It also features dual LED spotlights to guide you through the darkest winter debris. Navigate with confidence in your delicate areas. Hate making a mess? 
Not to worry, this bad boy is waterproof. Shave in the shower, in the bath, or even in the ocean. I love this thing because it comes with a compact case. I take it with me everywhere I go. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code locked on at manstate.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code locked on at manstate.com. Nothing like a little spring cleaning in your pants. Game time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat, and their best price guarantee, Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. I was once trying to attend a Syracuse game earlier this season on short notice, and that's why I used the Game Time app. Game Time is the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. See the view from your seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. All in prices show your total upfront so you know you're getting a great deal before you check out. Buy tickets in seconds with two taps. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code LOCKED ON for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code LOCKED ON. L O C K E D O N for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Are you watching Fox Sports or ESPN on your TV all day? Have to turn down the volume with all that shouting? Make the switch to Locked On Sports Today, a free 24 7 sports streaming channel program for you every day to bring you the biggest stories without all the screaming locked on sports today brings you can't miss analysis opinions and news streaming 24 7 on youtube or the free amazon fire tv channels app part of the locked on podcast network your team every day welcome back everyone into locked on syracuse i'm jackson holzer we've gone over a few of the wish list items so far i want this team to make the ncaa tournament next season preferably as a six seed or better. But honestly, I'll just take making the tournament. And I think you should too. The other one was, well, this team hasn't been ranked at any point in a year in six years. So please at one point be ranked in the top 25. That would be nice. The football team has done it. Lacrosse has done it. Both lacrosse teams. Women's basketball has done it. Women's basketball is in the tournament. Come on, men's basketball. Men's soccer won a national championship. Guys, come on. Be ranked at some point. All those other teams I just mentioned have been ranked at some point in the last six years. So please, for almighty, be ranked. But anyway, this next one is another thing that's never, it's actually something that's never happened in Syracuse history. I would like this team to advance to the ACC tournament semifinals. They've never done it. They've never even won two games in the ACC tournament. But the reason why I don't say two games is because you can win two games in the ACC tournament and not be in the semifinal yet. Is it really that much to request being in the semifinal? In order for Syracuse to have done it this year, they would have just had to win two games. Now, they got blown out by NC State, who then goes on to beat Duke and ends up making the tournament. All I'm asking for next year is make the semifinals in the tournament. It would be nice if they got one of the top four seeds, so they only had to win one game to do it. Of course, that's only happened once, and they lost. That was 10 years ago when their first year in the ACC. I think it would be nice. I think it would be cool to see a team go far in the conference tournament when they've never, ever done it before. It's not the biggest goal in the world because at the end of the day, you know, if you have a crazy record in the regular season, then the conference tournament is more of playing for maybe a slightly higher seeding. 
But I think it would be cool if they make it to the semifinals. So I hope they do that next year. Next on the list, I have six on the list, by the way. Two, two, and two. It's the way I'm going to break it down here. Beat a ranked team on the road. When was the last time Syracuse beat a ranked team on the road? Good question again. I'll answer it for you. January of 2020 at Virginia. You remember that game? It was an overtime one. I believe that game was in the low 40s heading into overtime. And Syracuse started pulling away at Virginia. And Buddy Bayheim hit some crazy three-point shot to beat the buzzer. Uh, it was a shot clock, so beating the shot clock buzzer. Go look it up on YouTube. It's there. He hit a crazy shot, and that is the last time that Syracuse won against a ranked team in their building. Almost impossible to fathom. You know it can be done, right? This is something that I have told people before. You know you're allowed to beat good teams on the road. You're allowed to do it. And I think Syracuse this season took a step in that regard. And ironically, it wasn't by beating a team on the road. It was by beating North Carolina at home. Showing that, hey, they can beat teams that are supposedly better than them. At least on their home floor. But for next season, I would like that to happen just at least one time on the road. Please do it. I believe since that moment, Syracuse is either 0-9 or 0-10 against ranked opponents on the road. And the worst part about it is most of the time they get blown out in those games. That's usually what happens. They got blown out by Duke this year on the road, North Carolina on the road. I believe Virginia was ranked on the road when they went to Virginia. I might be mistaken, but they got blown out anyway. Please, please, please pull off an upset. Make us happy. Do something that people aren't expecting, maybe. So, so far on my general expectation slash wish list slash I just I'm praying that something happens next year because watching March Madness without this team in it is just not the same it's not I want this team to be in the tournament I want them to be ranked top 25 at any point in the year advance to the ACC semifinals and beat a ranked team on the road It all sounds daunting, but this was a team that 10 years ago, they would do that all the time. They would accomplish all those tasks, not the ACC tournament semifinals, the Big East tournament semifinals. They used to do that. What happened? Still plenty more to come. Still plenty more venting to be had as Syracuse is not in the NCAA tournament and I just have to vent about it. Plenty more after this. This week's March Madness Bracket Highlight is brought to you by our friends at Nissan. Each week we're picking one team that stands out, a team that's pushed it further than the rest. Just like any of the all-new 2024 Nissan SUVs, these guys were able to take it to the next level. The Arizona Wildcats can only be described as an armada. This two-seed is as hardcore as it gets out there, so it's no wonder they took it to Long Beach State in the first round of the NCAA tournament. They're a favorite pick by many to make a run and will face Dayton this weekend for a chance to go to the Sweet 16. Take the Nissan Rogue, Nissan Pathfinder, or Nissan Armada and go find your next big adventure. Shop NissanUSA.com. Locked On has launched the first ever National Sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube, and now it's also available on Amazon Fire TV in the free Fire TV channels app. 
Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with the local experts of Locked On, plus our national shows covering every league. Find Locked On Sports Today now available on the Free Fire TV channels app. Welcome back, everyone, into Locked On Syracuse. I'm Jackson Holzer, and because Syracuse is not in the NCAA tournament, I got to vent about it. I am still frustrated about it. It sucks. And that's why I came up with Six things on a wish list that I hope Syracuse basketball can achieve next season, regardless of the roster. Because as of right now, there's no news on what's going to happen with Judah Mintz. The guys that are in the portal right now are still in the portal for Syracuse. Not a lot of movement so far. I imagine that's because the NCAA tournament is going on. I just have to vent. So here we go. So far, make the NCAA tournament, be ranked in the top 25, advance to the ACC semifinals, and beat a ranked team on the road at any point. Those are the four things I have. Next, did you know that Syracuse had nine double-digit losses this season? Nine. Nine of them. That means most of their losses were blowouts. Most of their losses were blowouts. What'd they lose? 12 times total? So 75% of their losses, they were, well, I wouldn't say that they were always not competitive, but the score didn't make it seem that way. They were competitive against Gonzaga in Tennessee this year, but uh, unfortunately, the final score doesn't read that. They lost to Florida State by a bajillion points, but really, it was a close game through 30-plus minutes. You know, they got blown out at Duke, but it was a, it was, what was it, a tie game at the half? I know it was within a, a possession. So... You know, I'd like that to be cut down next year. To not go into a game and expecting to be blown out if they lose. It's not fun to lose. It's especially annoying when a team loses by a bajillion points. I know it's kind of minor. And at the end of the day, if they lose nine times by double digits next season but that's their only nine losses of the year and they make the NCAA tournament, I'm not going to care. But it would be nice if this team actually didn't always or most of the time lose by a significant margin. And finally, maybe this one's a little bit more tangible. Rebound the basketball. I'm sick of it. If you believe that Syracuse basketball has been bad at rebounding in recent years, you would be correct. Because I dug up the stats for you. I did it. In the last five years, Syracuse, in each year, has a negative rebounding margin. What does that mean? A negative rebounding margin. It means that per game... Syracuse's opponent gets more rebounds than Syracuse. And they've had that happen to them the last five years. In 2020, they were 11th in the ACC. And then for three straight years, they were 12th in the ACC in rebounding margin. So they were bottom third of the conference. Not good, right? So how'd they do this season in rebounding margin? Oh, they were dead last. They were the worst rebounding team in the ACC. And we wonder why this team hasn't made the tournament in a while. I know they made it in 2021. They were 12th in rebounding in the ACC that year. If you can't rebound the basketball, You're not going to win many games. And on Pull Friday, spoiler alert, 
You guys agreed with that. Because you guys said the biggest need for this team is size and a true center. They kind of go hand in hand. Someone who can get rebounds. Because my goodness, this team in the last five years, that's, that's how far I went back. I wasn't going back any further. But last five years, they have not been able to grab a rebound. They can't do it. Having said that, I already mentioned it. This is not the last piece of content for today. I'm going to be releasing Poll Friday at 6 o'clock Eastern time. So stay tuned for that. If you like this video, click that like button. If you really liked it and you really want to see Syracuse go far next season, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you so you know right away when I'm dropping the next podcast. I hope everyone enjoys day two of March Madness. And I know that Syracuse isn't in it, but there's always next year. There's always next year. And we've been saying that for a while. And hopefully that comes to fruition. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. Tune in for Poll Friday, dropping at 6 o'clock and segment of the week on Saturday. Have a great one, everyone.